So good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles today. We're going to be looking at this. This is the Titan 125 Twist and Go Scooter. And as you can tell, this one in a very vivid pink. This is obviously going to a female customer. I just love the colouring on this bike. Obviously this is going to attract some attention today. Very, very nice bike. Now this is one of our best sellers, the Titan absolutely gorgeous little scooter loads of storage under the seat obviously you're not going to get a full-size helmet in there got those nice two big lights to the front mirrors are very very good on this one as well so purpose of ride test i'm going to take this one out for the customer and let her see the bike being ridden ride test mileage again normally around about uh, 20 miles 35k obviously the clocks on this one are in k kilometers to the outside miles and out to the inside your fuel gauge here Rev counter, two indicator lights there, so left and right, engine management light, main beam, and very, very simplistic control. So all you've got on the left-hand side is your kill button, stop the bike, your start button, cross on this side, the horn, hazards, indicators in the middle, and the main beam and dip beam on that side of the bike. So we're going to fire up the ignition, uh, as you can see, fuel gauge nice in the middle, you get an engine management light. Once you hold the brake to start this, Starts on the button first time, ticks over around about 1500 to about 1600 RPM. So we're going to take this one out and get some mileage on it. Just adjust my right mirror slightly, that's a bit better. So onto the road. Now we're going to open it up. Just see how quick it takes to get to 40 mile an hour. And we are there. There we go. So a nice steady 40. Well, it does hold the road very, very well. So normally we say on this, remember these as 10, 11, 12 and 1 if you happen to be looking at the speedo. 10 o'clock. 30 mile an hour. 11 o'clock is going to be about 40 mile an hour and then 50 obviously round about the 1 o'clock position and 60 around about the 2 o'clock position so we're just bringing this out into traffic and it fires off the button very very quickly very nippy little scooter this one So we're going to take this down the uh, Route 2 that we use. And obviously on these brakes, the braking on this is very, very effective on these scooter wheels. But the ease and simplicity of just owning one of these Titans, twist the throttle, away you go, brake, that is all you need. Legs tucked in nice and firm on the inside. And obviously with that fairing on the front, legs up inside you're nice and warm shielded from all the water and all the spray off the road now with these Titans obviously looking down as you can see my legs there I can actually put my feet to the front and stretch myself out a little bit but obviously I like my feet down but you do have the two positions so if you're doing a few miles put your feet out in front of you like so Stretch yourself back on the bike and very very easy and stable this bike is even sort of one hand off it does hold the road not I'd say take your hands off the bars but obviously just to show you the stability of the bike and being an experienced rider I know what I'm doing so one hand off the bars it is a still very stable bike holding it with one hand Now these things do absolute shed loads to the gallon. I have been told sort of a lot of people saying I can get 115 to the gallon out of my Titan. Brilliant guys, if you can do that, you know you've got yourself an absolute dream boat of a scooter. And these Titans are obviously one of the biggest sellers for Lexmoto. And we've got currently 10 of them going out, so uh, we've got uh, four of the grey and blacks going out 
got uh, I think about another three of the red and bl red and black ones got blue and black going out and we've got this one going out as well so they do come in different uh, colour ranges obviously the grey and black titan is the biggest seller for us obviously it uh, varies from dealer to dealer but the grey and black is our biggest seller followed by the uh, red and black the blue and black and obviously once in a blue moon we have a customer that opts for a pink one which is what uh, our female customer has done on this now obviously that pink colour it really shows up well during the day it's not just going to blend in with traffic it's going to get noticed I'm getting a lot of people looking at me oh pink scooter pink scooter it's one of those colours you don't see very often so it does make you very very visible you know people knock it oh it's a pink scooter and they laugh like hell about it but on the side of safety it's a very very visible scooter it's like you might as well just have a day glow sticker slapped all over you because people do notice that you are there which is what you want when it comes down to bike safety obviously things like high vis bright uh, yellow helmets or the polite vests you know people notice them they, everyone knocks them but it does get you noticed it's very easy just to look down and see that your indicators are on with this as well so it doesn't take you ages to sort of, oh god where you know what's happening on the controls here very very simplistic and as i say all the time it does what it says on the tin for just sort of 14.90 all in that includes all your on the road fees and obviously on the road fees vary from dealer to dealer but uh, we charged obviously the bike's priced at 129999 so call it 1300 pound you'll get a penny change from that and then you've got on the road fees now a lot of people say oh yeah but why can't i just have the bike for what it is well you can buy the bike 129999 1300 pounds but it's going to need to be pdi and it's going to need to be prepped it's going to be uh, registered it needs to be registered with DVLA it needs to be taxed someone's got to do that paperwork someone's got to do all those inspections and uh, I was actually having a, a conversation with a customer about this the other day he said oh, what are the on the road fees and we explain hundred pounds covers your PDI and your inspection process and 90 pound covers the admin and the paperwork the registration and your tax when you actually break that down guys and obviously a lot it varies as I say from dealer to dealer this is just what we do that hundred pound PDI and inspection so what the mechanics gonna do and we've been over this in quite a few of my videos now gets the bike out we do a full 90 point bolt check he puts the registration plates the uh, L plates on for me fills it up with fuel run tests the bike now we normally leave it running for about 10 minutes make sure the engine is ticking over nicely that we've got no injection issues it then gets passed to uh, the owner of the business or the senior technician and what he will do he will do that same job again he will do his 90 point bolt check check all the functions of the controls and uh, sign the bike off over to me it's then down to me to get out on the bike ride the bike check it all over make sure it's doing what it says on the tin like i am doing today now the ride testing on these is normally about i'm normally out for about 30 to 45 minutes 40 mile an hour when you work it out if i'm doing 40 mile an hour and i'm putting 20 miles on the bike that's about half an hour stop and starts around about so you're adding i'd say about 40 minutes to get it totally road tested it comes back in clean and polished coat of acf 50 when you work out we spend about five and a half hours i'd say five just the average of about five hours to prep every bike some take a little bit longer if they need a top box some need obviously repairs if it's got a scratch panel or you know there's something that i don't like on the bike and i want it changed you'd add another couple of hours so uh, 
between five and seven hours for a hundred pounds that's a lot of work and when you consider some of the mechanics the average mechanics wage is around about 15 pound an hour that's there's not a lot left out of that and then it comes across obviously your admin and paperwork it's 55 quid to register a bike with DVLA another 20 quid to tax it that's 75 quid and obviously I do about two hours worth of paperwork checking all the forms in so there's 15 quid left out of that five or an hour for me thank you very much so out of 190 quid for your on the road fees you're not left with a lot of change so all these people say oh you're making a load of money out of the on the road fees you're not you're making an absolute loss on it so it varies from dealer to dealer obviously some charge 100 quid and then i've heard the rumors oh yeah but i had the bike in two days they literally chucked some plates on it took it round the block that was it that's all they did yeah how was your bike running oh, two weeks later i had to take it back it had this loose this fell off so it does vary from dealer to dealer but obviously we go a little bit ott the last thing we want is a customer coming back he's got an issue he's got a complaint not a happy bunny so 99.9% .9 of our customers that have bikes from us never have an issue if you stick to your running in speeds you're filling it up with the correct fuel and obviously we say avoid the supermarket fuel because it is rubbish and then uh, do your maintenance regime your servicing schedules you're going to be good to go I'm still getting people looking at me as I'm driving down the road. Oh, this is fun. I do love these little Titans. And being on a pink one, I don't mind. I love this bike. It's like owning Herbie once again, you know, the big 53 on the door. It's like, oh, look. It makes people look. It makes people aware that you are, you are there. And as I say... If people are aware of bikers, less chance of having an accident. It's never normally the biker's fault, it's normally the car driver. And the uh, the saying, Smidsy. If you don't know what Smidsy is, sorry mate, I didn't see you. That is the normal response from a car driver. Sorry mate, didn't see you. You're going to get noticed on this. So our female customer is absolutely going to love this little bike. I think it's glorious. And those big wide mirrors as well ample view of the road behind the seat on this after being on those two LXRs this morning just to get on a nice padded comfy seat it feels so nice nice grip of the handlebars and you know I'm, my hands are sort of downwards a bit not dead level downwards a bit but uh, I'm just under 13 stone and this is doing the job it's carrying me along at a nice steady 43 so well happy with the bike uh, obviously when she gets it she will be as well now with these uh, titans you can obviously go with the uh, added option of having a top box on the back so you can go 32 litre 42 litre we would always say go with the 32 it's enough to put your helmet in and uh, we will be doing a video because a lot of people have been asking I bought, I bought a top box it doesn't fit on my uh, my rack at the back no um, because what will happen some top boxes will fit straight onto a Titan but what you may have to do is remove the plastic from the top shave it down slightly and if you know how to do that properly then you're fine um, but a lot of people just take the plastic off the top and bolt straight to the underplate um, obviously it does look a bit unsightly what we tend to do is take the plastic shave it down make sure that the top box is a nice adequate fit because you have got your top box uh, carrier that goes on to that and for a nice comfortable fit but obviously if you do bolt just a normal top box onto it what you'll find is the top box may sort of rattle or flap around a bit so uh, make sure you get your top box fitted by uh, a legitimate dealer or motorcycle shop that knows what they're doing they're not just going to bang two bolts in and bang your top box on the back end and charge your arm and the leg for it We just fired that down the dual carriageway. We're going to change the route up again now. I'm going to go a little bit urban on this. And feeding through the roundabout. 
even on these little small tyres, it handles exceptionally well. That's what I do love about these Titans. They do what is required. So just coming hard in on the front brake. Ooh, that stops on a sixpence. Lovely. And I just put to, had to sit myself back a bit because uh, came in a little bit hard and it slid me off the seat. But very, very effective brakes on these little Titans if you need them. So from the off, and that little engine just purring away below. That's it, straight up to 30 there. And we're at 40 already. All the speed. <laughs> it's just nice just to take it easy and uh, going up to speed. I'm used to sort of hammering around everywhere on the big one. As I say, the next delivery of these Titans is scheduled for around about mid-August. We've got another 10 on order. We do get through a lot of Titans. And the reason being, the, the price, they are absolutely bomb-proof. I keep saying on the, about these engines are bomb-proof. They are, they are absolutely bomb-proof. Unless you're an absolute uh, numpty, and obviously uh, we're going on about the, uh, the Lex Motor running in procedure, you've heard it before, 40 for the first 500, then you can do 50 up to 1500, then you're good to go. The only time that you're going to get an issue with one of these Titan engines is if you've had it straight out the shop, 10 or 20 miles on it, and you go straight up to 60. You are going to blue those pistons up really badly. So run the bike in, guys. It's like a little baby. Let it uh, crawl, let it walk, then let it run. If you're just going to go out and, oh, I'm an absolute uh, speed demon, I want to be the, uh, the next Manx TT rider. And let's just see how fast this thing will go, get myself down behind the bubble and all that. And if you want to tear around on one of these, yeah, it'll do it. But your engine's not going to last five minutes, so take it, take your time. Wear the bike in gently. And as we say all the time, do your bolt checks, do your, your other checks as well. So about halfway in on the mileage, we're going to uh, wrap this up for a while and cut back in at the end. This one's out for a female customer, Lex Motor Titan in pink. Uh, it's available. If you want to pre-order one of these, we can get you one. Pre-order for August. Give the guys at Eclipse a call, 01908 643 603. As I say, all the social media. You can go up to Facebook, look for Eclipse Motorcycles. Look for two Royal Alloy Scooters. And a picture of the Mini and the Scooter. Or, you can go uh, onto their main website, eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk Or if you just fancy being nice and easy, go onto my page, redbomb.co.uk First page of my, uh, the opening page, but down the bottom, Eclipse Motorcycles, all the links there And all the links to my social media are all on my social media page So we'll catch up with you in a while and uh, we'll see you in a few. So just coming back into town now. And we've got uh, currently 29.5k on the bike. That final couple of k to do on this. So just come in and uh, wrap this video up. Top 5 points by the Titan. Looks gorgeous scooter. 5 out of 5. Comfort. The seat is well padded after riding them two LXRs. I have been on this now for 35k and this lovely spongy seat, it's just whee It is absolutely soft as a feather. I love it. Uh, fuel economy, once again, 10 out of 10. They reckon about 115 plus to one of these. So they do shed loads of miles to the gallon. Reliability. We've never had a Titan go wrong yet. These little things are just bomb-proof. They just do what they say. A to B, urban commute, scooter, 
with a top box on the back if you wanted one ideal for work bargain so five out of five again overall all in would i purchase one hell yes i would and uh, i'm not a scooter lover as i keep saying i like my sports bikes but if i needed something to just get me backwards and forwards to work i didn't want to get the big bike out if it wasn't the riot i would buy myself one of these titans it's just very very easy to chuck everything in the top box get yourself to work job done change at the other end and if you happen to be a young rider college or whatever and uh, you just want something to go to college on or go to school on this is going to be the one for you it is lovely so yeah 50 out of 50 again lexmodo there's only a couple of bikes that have got that but uh as I give the guys at Eclipse a call, 01908 643 603. You can pre-order your Titan for August if you want one. Uh, we can get all the colours at the moment. So we're taking pre-orders on the bikes. We've ordered about another 10. Get your deposit in and uh, do what you need to. As I say, social media on my page. Go to redbomb.co.uk. Social media link is on the last page. If you want the links to the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles, all that down the bottom of the main page or you give them a call 01908 643 603 and they are available for bike sales, bike viewings, we do servicing MOTs and that is for bikes and cars as well at the garage so give them a call until then I'll be signing out telling you uh, stay safe, ride well be good enjoy the weekend guys it's going to be a hot one next week until next time it's a goodbye from me on this pink titan going out to a female customer bye for now